clothes and good shit. Hey, guys, you you spying on me while I'm doing my number two? Come on, guys. Disgusting me. Oh! Hello, everyone. Assalamualaikum to all my Indonesian Asian friends from Europe, from America, from everywhere that you are. Today's a special, special video, guys. My name is Kinos, as you know, watching the channel. Vlog day on Kinos channel must be like really something exciting. And it is. We're gonna see, I mean, we're gonna meet a person. Wow. That maybe you saw it from the title, but still, I'm gonna keep a bit of the suspense to you so you don't know who that person is. Uh, we woke up, me and my girl, we ate. And we're gonna immediately jump in the car and go to that amazing special place. I think so, it's amazing. Maybe not that amazing. But anyway, it's okay, it's a city. Guys, I'm currently in Cyprus. Oh my god, who the hell cares? The place that I um, you know, grew up and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff, but anyway. Another time if you want the house studio tour. Anyway, I'm gonna see you when we're gonna meet up with the person. We have one dog that I pet here, guys. Limasol Lakrakla, the city of uh, angels of Cyprus, yeah? And we are waiting here for a special friend. I don't know where he's gonna be now. We're gonna have to find him, yeah? So, most of my Indonesian subscribers know for who I'm talking about. All right, let's see if we're gonna find him now. It's a nice bright day, guys, over here in Limasol. He's not that guy, I don't think he's that guy. He looks uh, Greek. He looks a Greek. He's looking. No, no, keep, keep. Uh, these models, yeah? This is the only cafe near our world. Maybe it's that guy. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. She. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh! Selamat pagi! Selamat pagi! Uh, my friend, how are you? I'm <laughs> very good, very good. Oh, you got the. I didn't catch your name. Your name? Bonnie. Bonnie. So Bonnie. I can call you Bonnie. Yes. Guys. Bon Bon. All my Indonesian people, what do you want to say to the Indonesian people? Nice to meet you. Okay, guys, this is Bonnie, and we're going to go and find, try to find a place now okay. where it's not going to be a lot of uh, wind. Yeah. Because it's a lot of wind. And it's gonna be, it's gonna sound so bad. I hope it's not gonna be that bad. Oh, I'm so excited to meet you, man. Seriously, I. Oh. This is the uh, Indonesian. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's no, mi goreng, mi goreng. Okay, you're gonna explain. Okay. We're gonna explain uh, everything when we go find the place. All right, officially now, without all the wind, guys of uh, the harbor over here in Limassol that we are, I'm here with Bonnie, an Indonesian from. Sumatra. Sumatra, oh my god, they were telling me. Sumatra, we have Sumatra. Uh, is it like a big region, like Kalimantan, or like it's, it's smaller? It's uh, big. It's big as well, yeah? So we have Boni from Sumatra. Is it there a little city or town that you're from? Uh, like so from, in Sumatra? Sumatra Selatan, and then the capital city is uh, Palembang. Palembang, oh my god. So many people were telling me, especially, I think so. Uh, some bands like 510 with Faisal and uh, if you know the, those smaller bands or like which, what other, which other band it was from Palembang or maybe they were, they were playing in Palembang maybe playing in playing, Palembang playing, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah there's a lot of bands basically how this happened guys is as, uh, as soon as I started like making Indonesian content and all of you were started to join my channel and thank you so much for that uh, at some point Bonnie reached out to me in DMs. I wrote, hi, thank you for reacting about Indonesia. I live in the of Cyprus. Would love to help you if you need some information. That is so good. And then we just, uh, for real, my reaction was like, what? I was so like surprised, you know? I really was so surprised. I mean, like started asking you how long you, you lived in here. 
it's only 10 years now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, kind of thing that you do now here? I'm working for River Cruise Company. Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, and t all these 10 years you were working there? Yes. All these 10 years. And how did you find the job? Like, how did you live from there? Because yeah. you were living for how long in Indonesia? Yeah, I live uh, since I grew up. And yeah. Then uh, 2012. 2012. I, I started. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So after university or? No, I'm not going to university. So I just high school. I didn't go to university as well. You didn't finish what? I didn't go to university. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. You say the truth after the army. Uh -huh. I had to do the two years out of army. I was like, yeah, maybe it's waste of time. Um, and I went to work in England immediately. Uh, yeah. Yeah. After you finished school, where you where you went? So after uh, high school, I uh, work uh, nearby in the city where I live. Okay. And then moved to Jakarta and then to Bali and then I have opportunity to work abroad. Yeah. Oh. So I grab it, I take it, and kind of my dream to work abroad. So yeah. Uh, I really enjoy like just traveling. The for traveling me. is good for as long as uh, hey, you have money to do it. Yes. <laughs> That's true. It That's true. So like definitely like places like Bali I would definitely love to to visit. Yes. And that brings me to like how basically the life was there of growing up. Yeah. For sure it's uh, more or less we will have culture shock. Oh for sure yes, because the even even for Indonesia and Bali is totally different. Yeah. Because majority is Hindu, so the culture is totally like different some people maybe even still have culture shock although they are Indonesian agriculture yeah no the culture the culture ah yeah ah, okay the, the tradition or the things that yeah. I, I even see it in some videos you know like let's say I don't know if you see beauty of Bali by Alfirev yes yeah even that video you know it shows so many yeah. so, like it shows yeah. like the costumes traditional yeah. costumes it shows that um, was it dragon or tiger I can't remember. Yeah. yeah, so even that yeah. just and, and I was thinking like oh maybe just China has all this stuff and now I'm like discovering because to say the truth before like one of my YouTube friends introduced me to Alibata mm -hmm. I, I didn't know like maybe I knew about the name Indonesia but I didn't know where it is. Yeah. Like imagine like here in Europe yeah. we don't like we do we do geography you know but i didn't i didn't know much even, about it even in the nations there is some greek word as well i think it was far away stone far away island the meaning in those or something yeah no way there is a greek word in the greek word yeah in the wow i didn't know that in the okay so we're finding greek word in it's like an island or uh, wait, in a Greek, Greek word, okay. It looks like all cultures have something in common, you yeah. know, all cultures. That is so good. So how are you finding the, the life in Cyprus? Cyprus is good because first is the weather. The weather, yeah. More or less uh, similar. Yeah. The winter is not that so freezing cold, so it's good. So wait, in Indonesia is freezing cold, yeah? No. No way. Okay, so in Indonesia it's always like always summer. Yeah, because it's tropical yes. weather. There's always some summer. Right? Maximum, let's say, like yeah. uh, maybe spring, not but, even autumn. But from stories I was, uh, you know, I followed a lot of Indonesian artists. Some of them, they even in the summer, I remember, like there's a lot of rain. Yes. There's a lot of rain, guys over there, so much. Um, and I was <laughs> thinking, I was like. Is it gonna be cold ever no. or so no? It's maximum like the feel in here like spring. Maximum. Ah okay. Yeah. But it's uh, how to say the humidity is different. You oh my god, humidity. I think so there is more, yeah? Yeah. And you will sweat a lot. Over there, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but because a lot of breeze so it's fine. Okay, okay. Yeah, Us yeah. Usually foreigner is exciting to ride motor uh, motorcycle. Yeah, as I realized. Yeah. It's like the main yeah. method of transport. Because it's easier and faster. Yeah, yeah. But, but this thing is uh, plus and minus. Faster and easier, yes, but but the safety. So, I have one story of me and my girl when we were now in uh, Greece, because we were in Greece working. That's why I wasn't uploading a lot. I, we had a bike. And basically, 
this thing happened to me. Oh my god. So I fell down if the camera can see it. Oh I fell god. down and over here, oh you know? God. And <laughs> so like I said to myself, I don't wanna get a bike ever in my life. So even if I go to Indonesia, you know, I will be like Maybe car, <laughs> maybe slow, you know, but it's safer, you know. Maybe you have to take uh, one shot tequila and then you will change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do they have like um, traditional spirits in Indonesia? Yeah, every region, of course. They Has their own. Even Bali and then let's say you move to another province or island. Yeah. But wait, they say this is Bali and this is Java. Yeah, Java over there, yeah. yeah. I remember that. The moment you move to Java, you will see the different culture. Damn. Even in, in different regions. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you have been seeing now this, um, this YouTuber, Dan Danish YouTuber, Christian Hansen. Yes. So you have been uh, yes, looking. I, I watch him as well. Uh, I w I'm watching him kind of like silently, you know, mm. because I want him someday maybe like to do a podcast or something like that. Mm. But seriously, what he does is inspiring. Yeah. To I go from uh, one side to the other side yes. and just on a mo motorbike. You know, and just Even me from Sumatra, I don't know much about Sumatra. And then he but just. Him, he, yeah. I, I know some part about other places. That know? is so yeah. crazy. Like I'm not a, a travel travel like vlogger let's say what I do best is like this you know music and stuff like that but if I go to Indonesia I would like to film something like this you know yeah that was so great especially one episode when he went to the tribe and I'm looking those tribes I'm like god damn it I want I want to be there I want to be in that element just like <laughs> without nothing you know it's just you and nature yes that was so crazy I, I was thinking like, you know, tribes are mostly in Africa or like in Australia or something like that. Then you have them in, uh, yeah. in Indonesia. It's like, Indonesia is like a multi-ethnic, yes. multi, it's like yes. so, so, so awesome. Much. When did you find me? Uh, on, on YouTube? Yeah, so you not that, that so long after I, before I sent you a message, it was August. It was August? Last, last year. Um, do you remember which video is your first? I'm not sure. I think it was about the uh, opening ceremony. Oh games. my god, yeah, that I one got. Up, I don't really yeah, <laughs> that, that one, I got kind of a lot of hate, guys. Uh, I didn't mean to dis disrespect uh, the president, you know. I just said, you know, like, ah, most of the presidents of the world, you know, the big heads are kind of like corrupted. But I realized that, you know, he's amazing and he is doing all like great stuff for Indonesia he's even, he even met Elon Musk as well yes I saw it was like yeah, on Twitter for business yeah <laughs> of everyone course. <laughs> of course it's uh, everyone is yeah. yes. everything and everywhere especially those big heads you know like they have the, but the money good. and the power it's good yeah yes. I think so they, they put like a Starlink above Indonesia now and uh, yes. like, on Wi-Fi like fast you know, and everything uh, so that's good and um, what type of music I wanted to ask you you're into uh, mix I love I love uh, opera so pop. pop and opera not what? not not pure opera not ah, pop pop and opera yes. pop so was there any video like that I reacted to um, ah, sorry like, for for your your music. Yeah, yeah. like you know the the react the. Sorry, sorry. So I, I was the last your music. I was, I was because I'm, uh, your music more to like kind of uh, rock. Kind of like rock metal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not that familiar. But then then when the last video when you make a cover. Uh, oh my God, the cover. I was trying which one, and then some somebody ah, I know this song. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, this is what my purpose is now. Like, I, I felt so much, so overwhelmed, you know, by the support that they gave me, you know, like Indonesians when I started the reactions, and it's just like this idea came to my mind. What if I change the lyrics and try to like push it out? A little bit, you know. So my main reason is, you know, because I, I felt I felt so much in love, like with that Indonesian music that it even brought me some memories back, you know, when I was a kid. Even like songs from Noah or Peter Pan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I have plans, guys, to definitely make uh, a cover for from those kind of yeah. bands. I think so. You like those kind of yeah. like, Noah, Peter Pan, yes. Dewa 19. Ah yes. Yeah, yes. Dewa. Dewa. Kinda. Uh, 
Ah, my Danny. Yeah. <laughs> so cool, man. I even gonna let you listen the, sec the, the, the song that I have prepared for the 17th of August. Ah, which one? Kapiar, Kapiar? No, I was thinking about it, but I have a better one. Which one? Yeah! yeah. Basically, with who you will make it? We made it. I don't know if you know this band. It's kind of like a really old one. I'm probably gonna mute this part, guys. I don't want you to know it. On, only Bonnie's gonna know it until now. I don't know if you know it. They're really underground. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Yeah, they're really underground. And we tried to make it kind of like a mixture of that rock that they had with a bit metal. I believe, I hope, let's say the Indonesian metal heads and music heads, they're gonna like appreciate it a little bit, you know, like, because it's going to be on the 17th of August, you know? Uh, and I'm kind of excited, because um, Alfie Rev is coming out with Wonderland Indonesia 2. Okay. the second one, okay. Yeah, have you seen the first one? Yes. They're kids like kings, you know? That guy, I would like to uh, collaborate with that. Uh, I think so he's like two, two years younger than me, maybe. How old are you? I'm 40. 40 years old? 42. You don't look like... Babe, did you hear his age? I thought you were like 33, 34, he's 42. No. No way. No way. Really? Yes. How, how old do you think I am? 27. Yeah. He you knows. He knows. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> My whole life on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. When you gonna to Bali? <laughs> uh, to Bali. So, so, uh, when we were in Lithuania, we were thinking of like moving over there because like as i see like i will have some support like from people over there and like really nice and sending me really nice messages but first firstly i wanted to like have some uh, a, an assured income like this with the reactions yeah it wasn't that sure okay. so i was playing it a little bit that's why i went to greece to work uh, <coughs> and this is another reason that i came here so uh, i want to like put uh, again some more work as well in the indo cover project mm -hmm. this project that i'm doing and as soon as i have you know, like uh, how to say like uh, a playlist let's say of some covers you know i can i can talk to some companies in uh, indonesia we can organize like a big event or something like that that's kind of like my goals for the future now mm -hmm. And maybe that would allow me to get to know Indonesia more and where to stay more. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you. So you said you said you worked in Bali, yeah? I work in Bali. Do uh, you think it's like a, um, a nice place for a foreigner to stay and like make a life? <coughs> like again, it depends the location and what, mm. what you're doing. Because even now there is a let's say certain area that many foreigners will live there. Hmm. Changu is really... Changu. 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 Changu is now is popular for foreigners who live in Indonesia, in Bali especially. Yeah. And, but what I heard, Changu is more popular for, how to say, hippies? Ki hippies? No. Hi. Ah, hippies. Hippies. So Changu is more popular for hippies. Ha 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 Ah, those ones that, you know, meditation, yes. peace, yes. not war, love, not war. Yes. Oh, those kind of people, huh? Yes. Um, I don't know if, if you, like, follow any, like, uh, property movement. Uh, I've seen that, what people say, the foreigners, that the price of the, of the rent went higher. Yes. So it's true, yeah? True. Yeah, because the situation as well. Yeah. Yeah, the situation <laughs> over here, over there <laughs> now is, I mean, you know, up north. In yeah, uh, Europe, if, if, uh, as well, if let's say because Ubud is popular, yeah, and then Changu is popular, but let's say if you go a bit far, not in the popular place, yeah, will be let's say cheaper. Ah, I was uh, okay, it's gonna be cheaper. Yeah. And what about like let's say Jakarta, which I don't think so, I want to live there because it's, it's uh, yes, metropolis, city. yeah, metropolis, yeah, too populated, yeah, yes. 
uh, I have some uh, like one person, one guy like Agit, yeah, and he's always you know he's excited you know about uh, the content and everything. He's like, man, you have to come to Jakarta. I'm gonna you know, like uh, give you some place to stay and all that stuff. Like it would be nice to go and see it. To go and see is good. Yeah. But to live depends again. Yeah, to live uh, must be really crazy. Yeah. You wanna, uh, babe? You wanna like a place, like really chill place, yeah, calm place to live, yeah. Even like um, somewhere close to the beach, yeah. So it's Bali. Bali, yeah. Or maybe Lombok. 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 Lombok um, is like the next island near Bali. Oh, near Bali, yeah. Uh, I think three months ago or four months ago there was MotoGP. Oh wait! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the MotoGP was in Lombok. Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, and I was uh, I was seeing the, the drone shots, and they were absolutely beautiful. You can see the little islands as well in the water, and oh uh, yeah, uh, everything green. Yes, everything. But not that's so green because I don't know why this this island is how to say cannot dry. Uh, but it's not oh my god, it's not dry. <laughs> but Bali is Bali is more green than Lombok. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. But but Lombok is near to the island of Komodo. It's closer compared to Bali. I would like to go to Komodo Dragon freaking island. Oh my god. Imagine just like grabbing one. No, no, no. <laughs> it must be really heavy, yeah? It's uh, dangerous. And you cannot go close to them? No, cannot. Petition to start a 24 hour challenge in Komodo Dragon Island. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> we don't put our life in danger here. Like, uh, before I started reactions, you know, um, I was doing this kind of like. 24-hour challenges sometimes and we did it we did one um, in Paphos in uh, a gorge Avagas gorge if you went towards Agamas okay yeah you, you went and no, I go to the Blue Lagoon only. Blue Lagoon okay so you went with the boat yeah yes so I think the boat sometimes not all the times go, goes past the Avagas gorge but it's kind of like uh, deep inside the mountains yeah this kind of like videos is it's fun to make but like takes a lot of time yes and this basically like niche that i found i think it's niche like reactions but to indonesian songs mm -hmm. is a niche thing you know uh it's just like give me like more more passion and energy to create even more things you know mm -hmm. because since i was 14 guys the same now since i was 14 when i got my first guitar i always wanted to be on stage <laughs> and and see, it's really like all the paths slowly, slowly, uh, they were pushing me somewhere. Like yeah. after the army, I went to work. Uh, it was like further away from this thing, you know. But at some point, when I turned 24 and I started doing reactions, it was reactions to like popular songs, not popular songs, popular metal songs, mm -hmm. not the Indonesian. Yeah? And then slowly, slowly, I found Ali Bata, mm -hmm. and then it went down to here. Burger Cube, Edane, uh, Jam Root. I was like, damn, I guess I found my calling kind of, you know? So it was, it was kind of fun. It would be, it would be nice, you know, to like, my first stage to play in Indonesia. You know? That would be like a dream. You know? Sure, you can. Yeah. And then we bring <laughs> Indonesians here and we start like a concert here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, in here, not many. In no. Even in Limassol, maybe only five, seven. So, how many you, you know? I how many Indonesians you know? I think about seven or... I think about seven in Limassol. In yeah. Nicosia, is more. What? So, Nicosia has more Indonesians, guys, than Limassol. Limassol is right next to my birthplace, Paphos. Ah, in Paphos, Bonin. there is some as well. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Oh my god, man. Um, I realize that you don't drive. I don't drive. You don't drive. One day, I come and uh, pick you up and we go and meet the Indonesians from over there. Yes. And we start like a, a little concert.